How's it going, everybody? So as you can see in front of your face, I have completed all the conquests for Season 2. I mean, I've completed all the conquests, actually. Um, but specifically, Season 2 is what I want to talk about here. The new season Team Infinity stuff, the Kaiju, and the Texas Ranger City Connect stuff. A grind. I do not recommend doing any of it. Um, there are good rewards, absolutely. I did save all my packs, so I'm going to go ahead and open them here. But I do not recommend doing this grind. It wasn't very fun, and there's no real gain other than, of course, the packs, and you can... You can grind your players and stuff for missions but other than that it is no fun it takes a long time and unless i pull a mike trout i don't know if it's really worth it at all to be honest with you i've just been kind of playing them throughout the playoffs and i finally finished all of them so i wanted to make a video on me opening all the packs that you get for them so i got 66 mlb the show packs four balling as a habit and then a bunch of diamond duos including this one which is a, a choose one player i'm not quite sure what this is i'm sure it's nothing but i'm gonna go ahead and save it for last in case it is something, pack number one. Now, I'm trying to debate if I want to do a pack and play on this. I feel like I'm going to. Uh, it just seems it seems reasonable. I have a ton of packs, do a pack and play with the cards that I pull from the packs. So first pack is going to be Nick Fortes and then a bunch of not great cards. I, I think I will do a pack and play, actually. It does seem like a fun idea. But I don't really know what I'm looking for here. I You know, I don't expect diamonds or anything. Ooh, a gold. I definitely wasn't expecting many golds, but uh, I'm, I'm really just kind of getting, trying to get cards for the collections. That's what I'm working on kind of now, is just trying to finish up collections, get Derek Jeter, and then we'll go on from there. First gold card is going to be Raphael Devers. But if you guys have decided to go and do conquests, let me know how you guys are doing. Do you guys think it's an easy grind? Do you guys think it's a tough grind? I think it's a repetitive grind at the very least, as we get double silvers here. But so far, I think I've actually gotten more in these packs than I did expect. I got a gold and a couple silvers. This one, of course, is nothing spectacular. But 66 packs, I believe. Oh, wow. Okay, we pulled a chase pack. That's sweet. Let's see what else we get in this pack. Garbage. Well, we got a chase pack. I will save the chase pack for last, but that's actually really awesome. Let's go. A chase pack. That's actually really awesome. What the heck? Gold pack here. Trevor Story. I'll take it. Of course, you guys won't see every single pack, but here's them pack number 59. Uh, garbage. This is why you won't see every pack. Uh, Silver Lucas Giolito. Might be our starting pitcher right now, which is kind of rough. We need to start pulling some pitchers. But man, the Conquest grind, it probably shouldn't have taken as long as it did for me. Um, wow, we got a non-duplicate pack. That's kind of crazy. For some reason, the, the MLB server has been really bad. I keep getting disconnected. I don't know if it's if it's my internet or what, but it, it's been really bad. And then we get an all-duplicate pack. That's funny. Wow, we pulled another chase pack. What the heck? We got two chase packs? We pulled two chase packs out of less than 20 packs. And I opened 100 packs before and I haven't, I didn't pull a chase pack. Okay, maybe the odds are just different. Pack number 50. Silver card. Uh, Tyler O'Neill. I'll take it. Oh, there we go. First diamond pool. Uh, nothing else in the pack, really. But the diamond could be huge. Mike Trout, Mike Trout, Mike Trout, Mike Trout, Mike, please. I know there's a way to tell if there's a higher overall diamond. Maybe not this year. I know there was last year. I'm not quite sure how to figure that out, though. And, uh, we actually pulled Mike Trout! We pulled Mike Trout! Oh, I'm so sorry, but we actually pulled Mike Trout. What the heck? Asking you shall receive. Let's freaking go. He's not as much as he normally is, but I will absolutely take Mike Trout right now. That's going to help with the collections. I'm actually in disbelief we just pulled Mike Trout. Gold card. Ozzy Albies. Awesome. So about what I said about doing the conquest. A thousand percent worth it. Spend hours of your day grinding conquest to get these packs. Uh, most of them look like this. But apparently you can pull multiple chase packs and a Mike Trout. So definitely worth it. 38 packs. I think this is about the halfway mark. I don't remember the exact amount we had for MLB The Show packs. But pack number 38. Silver. Nelson Cruz. There we go. Gold DJ LeMahieu. They got another gold. I'll take it. Tristan McKenzie. He might be our starting pitcher for the pack and play if we decide to go that route. And we are on a bad cold streak, but I guess I can't complain too much. Why didn't I pull a diamond item? Pack number 13. Hopefully lucky number 13. Uh, gold item. And not a very lucky number. At least lucky pack for me. But I did pull a diamond or a gold item. There we go. We pulled another diamond. It is pack 12. So 13 wasn't very lucky, but number 12 might be the, the lucky number today. I mean, I asked for Mike, can I get a show? Hey, 
I asking for too much? I think I might be asking for too much. Okay, Byron Buxton. I, it's actually a card I don't have. Not not a very expensive card, but I'm not going to complain about any diamond we pull, especially one that I don't already have. Byron Buxton. My favorite card last year, actually, to be honest with you. Loved me some Buxton. Last year was an absolute monster. When he gets a good card this year, best believe I'm going to have it on my team. This is 92 just ain't doing it for me. Now we're on pack number seven. People also say this is a very lucky number. You know, you get three sevens in a slot machine. You win a big amount of money, unfortunately. We crapped out and did not win a lot of money. Number dose. Number two. Uh, here we got a gold card. Jeff McNeil. And then the final pack. Pack. The last pack. Silver item. Common. Common. Bronze. And the last pack of the normal MLB The Show pack. We still have a ton of other packs to go through. This is it another bronze? Hyped it up a little bit. Didn't really get much return from it. Oh, okay, so we have Balling as a Habit, Chase Packs, and then a bunch of duos. We're going to go ahead and do the duos packs just because I don't believe... Yeah, there is silver or better. But on to pack number one, Diamond Duos. The featured items are Cattell Marte and Yu Darvish. I actually pulled Yu Darvish. He was my first Diamond pull in this year's game. See if I can pull him again. And the answer is no. Pack number five. I did skip who was in it. A diamond item and a gold card. Yandy Diaz. Pack number seven included Gary Carter and Brandon Webb. Ooh, a Brandon Webb would be actually kind of sweet. Uh, we do pull a diamond. Is it going to be Brandon Webb? Probably not. But like I've been saying, a diamond is always a diamond. And you will take a diamond anytime you can get one. I kind of wish I knew how to like tell the difference between a good one and a bad one. It's kind of all up to chance. Maybe, maybe that's how it is this year. I knew last year there was different like smoke colors. Uh, am I blanking? Yeah, I thought it was Vlad, but it didn't look, you know, Vlad didn't look as thick. Kind of threw me off. But we got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I'm not sure if I already have Vlad. I might already have him. But awesome to see me get Vladdy. Now, honestly, going through it and like finishing all those conquests, I didn't think it was going to be worth it. But after what I pulled, I'm actually kind of kind of glad I went through it. Just a gold card. Emmanuel Classe. Yeah, we just have two more Diamond Duo packs before we get to the choice one. This is pack 14. This is the newest one, including Bryce Harper and uh, Yuri Perez. I think that's how you pronounce it. Two of these. That Bryce Harper looks like an animal. Silver card here. Ty France. And then my final chance at uh, Bryce, I believe. And it's just going to be Francisco Lindor, which I'm not mad at. Okay, so now we got just seven more packs, four balling as a habit, two chase, and one diamond duo pack 11 choice of Willie McCovey, Don Sutton. But I don't think it's a pick of those two. Um, well, I guess we'll find out. We'll go and open it right now. And it's just the choice of a uniform. I'm a dummy. Let's go with these Padre ones that look cool. And then I got a bunch of gold cards. I guess I get a pick of my, my gold card at least. Guess I'll go ahead and take you. He seems to be the most expensive one. And now we're down to the Balling as a Habit and the Chase Packs. I'm kind of upset about that choice Diamond Duos, honestly. I thought it was going to be something decent. I was wrong, but it's okay. Balling as a Habit, four of them. Go get into it. Uh, I don't know what we're looking for, to be honest. I guess just a diamond again, I, I suppose. I don't like, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of content with what I got. I mean, <laughs> pulling Mike Trout alone was worth all those packs. I also got two, two Chase Packs. Like, this has been a fantastic opening. I've really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have, have as well. Balling is a habit, pack number three, but it's the second left. Double golds. I will take double golds for sure. We got uh, Nico and Ryan Hesley. In my last balling is a habit pack, will we just end up with straight gold? We will. It's okay. It's kind of what we see often, to be honest. And it is Luis Arreyes. Then we got the two chase packs that I did pull. Uh, of course, we're looking for this Mickey Mantle. Do I expect to pull it? Not really, let's be honest. No. Uh, what I'm really looking for, I guess, is just any valuable diamonds. But, I mean, it's a it's guaranteed diamonds. So, like, I mean, I'm not upset with whatever I pull. To be honest, like, I, I really could care less what I pull. I mean, I, like I said, I want it to be something good. But I'm not expecting it to be good. First pack. Oh. First pack. We got Shane. I think we already have Shane. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I think we already have Shane. The last chase pack. Last pack of the video. Hopefully we can end it off with a bang. Here we go. Again, I, I, don't, I, I wish I knew how to tell if this was a good card or a bad card so I know how to react. The mic trap was kind of like something crazy. 
Felix Batista. Okay, that one's not great. <laughs> that one's not great. That one's not great. But there we have it. That was actually a really fun pack opening. So I did go digging through the footage, and I kind of decided that I did want to do a pack and play, but I didn't want to use a bunch of golds and silvers. So if uh, I found a card that had an upgrade, I didn't go like super searching. I didn't like find a bronze is 99 overall card. I looked at the gold cards that I had or silvers and see it and try to see if I had an upgrade for them. So this is the current team that I will be using in the pack and play in the next couple days. Um, so in the outfield, we have Yandy Diaz, Mike Trout, and Byron Buxton. In the infield, we got Vlad playing third, Christian Walker playing first, Nico and Lindor playing the inside second and short. Our catcher is still Cal, 79 overall Cal. I couldn't get away from using a silver catcher. It's just what it's going to have to be. He's not terrible for a catcher. Defense is really good. He just might not be able to hit very well. And then as our DH is going to be CJ Crone off the bench. We have 89 Trevor Story, which I actually love that card. Tyler O'Neill, Jeff McNeil, and Hunter Renfro. Couldn't find any other diamonds on the bench other than, of course, Trevor Story. And then our starting pitcher is going to be the new 97 Tyler Glasnow. He's the guy that I took for one of my Team Infinity stuff. I'm still grinding it out, so I don't have all the cards. But uh, here's Tyler. I haven't used him much. Uh, I also had a U, uh, a Diamond U, but other than that, no, no real upgrades. And then as far as the bullpen goes, nothing changed. I don't have any upgrades for any of these cards, which is kind of crazy. So uh, when it comes to closing situations, Felix and Classe are going to have to be our guys. But yeah, that's been me. I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you watched the whole video, I, I want to thank you. Uh, that's been me, though. Let me know if you guys liked the video. I will see you guys next time, and peace. Oh boy, this hey, shit bang. Hey, blacked out, pulling up and everybody act out. Ops out, gas out, run up on me, get whacked out.